It's finally happened. They have outdone themselves. This it has to be the craziest legacy media clip that I have seen and that is saying something like you know the first presidential debate is set for june 27th it already feels like the bar that is set for biden to clear is so much more substantially is so much substantially higher than the one trump has to clear which is literally is he alive is he standing are the words coming out of his mouth setting aside what the words actually are and i just i wonder if there's any way for biden to overcome what seems like a structural disadvantage on, you know, in the weeks leading up to what's going to be a pretty important inflection point in this campaign. Yeah, Alex, I think that's an important question. Uh, we don't know the answer yet. The, the, the challenge with Trump running against Trump for Biden is that they're not re it's not really a head to head contest in which they're both being judged by the same terms. It's <laughs> um, they're liars. They are liars. And not only is this a lie, but it is a lie in reverse, because in fact, what she said is true of uh, the opposite. Biden is the one who merely has to show up, stay standing, assuming they have them standing and get words out of his mouth that might be hopefully, let's all say a prayer, identifiable as something in the English language. That is Biden's bar, not Trump's. And we all know that, like Trump or hate him, uh, the criticism of him is not that he wanders around and bumbles around and looks lost and mumbles his words and can't open his eyes and it seems like he's constantly out of breath and says things that are not identifiable as English. That is, you might have many criticisms of Trump. That's not one. And, and in fact, they know that they're liars because if you look at this segment in its entirety, the segment is Alex Wagner speaking about the fact that Trump is having cognitive issues, but nobody's talking about it. And everybody's talking about Biden's cognitive issues and how that's really, really not fair. And it really, really makes no sense to her. Has anyone ever seen the silence of the lips? The late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. He oftentimes would have a friend for dinner. That was Republican frontrunner and convicted felon Donald Trump last month, offering his thoughts on a cool new movie that was released 33 years ago. But did anyone question Donald Trump's mental fitness or even his basic connection to the time-space continuum? No, they did not. So when you put this clip within the wider context of the story, it shows that she's lying because it's not true that Trump merely has to show up and say words and stay standing. Um, that would be true if we were critical of Trump's cognitive ability, and we were worried about Trump's cognitive ability, but we're not, which she herself admits in the wider context of this news segment. So they are liars. They know that they're lying. Every single poll, including polls as recent as the first week of June, indicate that American voters, likely American voters, are overwhelmingly concerned about Biden's mental fitness. He needs to do something bold and dramatic to seize the initiative on asylum policy, for example, and reverse these numbers. The one that troubles me the most is on the question of who was the more competent. Joe Biden led Donald Trump by nine points in 2020, but Trump now leads by 16 points in January 2024. That 25-point shift could be a reflection of people's sense that the president's age is affecting his capacity to govern. And there's very little that Joe Biden can do now to change that perception. We are seeing through the lies and um, Trump 2024, baby, let's make America great again, because these people are morons.